Well, you guys, does this setting optimize your PC for gaming and increase FPS? This is what we're going to take a look at in today's video. So many YouTube channels and videos on there claiming that this actually boosts performance when playing games. So let's have a look what it's all about inside your graphics settings here. You'll see you've got some games here which you can then click on. And again, you can click on options. And there is let Windows decide high performance. And then you've also got high performance. So you've got the options available here. Looking on the Unigine benchmark here, I want to try to give this a fair crack where we got let Windows decide. And we're also going to run a benchmark with high performance. So there's two settings inside here. And of course, you're going to get your gamers that will say put it on high performance because that's what it means high performance and you should get much more FPS and much more performance out of your PC by putting it on that setting. Just go ahead and put it on 4K optimizer. We'll run this on both settings and you can then work out for yourself whether this is actually going to give you more FPS and increased performance on your games and PC. So I'm going to run a benchmark here. And again, this is no scientific test, but at the end of the day, None of the stuff you see on YouTube or on the internet is really tested. They just put it on there as a claim that it actually boosts performance. You can see 16,648, and we've got the minimum FPS here, 73.49. And we've also got the average 124.52 and maximum 155.23. And we've also got the minimum GPU temperatures here and utilization, 99%. Now we'll run the same test again on performance or high performance, I should call it, and we'll see whether we get any sort of performance boost from our game. Now, going by all of the hundreds of videos on YouTube claiming that this actually boosts performance and gives you more FPS and also articles online, we're going to go in here and we're going to select high performance. Now, we're using benchmark software here, and the reason why is because we want to get a fair, even uh, score for both. Uh, results here so let windows decide and also high performance and also you got power saving there as well so we're going to run this on now high performance and we'll run exactly the same benchmark and in theory you should be getting a lot more performance once this is completed because we're on high performance and also it's what everyone claims on the internet and there's your score 16,607 so we've got the minimum 104.6, average 124.21, maximum 152.68. And then you've got your GPU minimum and maximum, and then your utilization, which is 100%. So we'll put these results side by side, and you can see them for yourselves. Now, of course, uh, calling it high performance, that would give you the idea that you're getting high performance from your GPU, and you're going to get much more performance out of your system. And of course, if we look at the results side by side, let Windows decide and high performance right there, you can see that let Windows decide has got a higher score than high performance. What a surprise. And then, of course, I'm going to the maximum FPS here right in the very end on let Windows decide. We have 155.23 and on high performance, we only have 152.68. So it's actually underperforming compared to let Windows decide. Now, the average is 124.52 on let Windows decide. And again, on high performance, 124.21, all within the margin of error, as you can see here. Now, you would think that because we've put high performance on, it's going to give you more performance. And really, theoretically, it hasn't done anything hardly. If anything, it's hurt your maximum FPS by three frames or thereabouts. So you're not really getting any sort of performance from all this and I always say this in my videos people seem to skip or miss this information so really theoretically there is no real setting inside windows in your control panel inside these settings inside here in your registry or any of that nonsense it's not going to make a massive difference some is going to give you a frame here and there but that is about it you are not going to boost performance by putting it into high performance. Just let Windows decide if you want to. It's not going to make a massive difference. And because something says high performance doesn't necessarily mean your system is suddenly going to get high performance and you're going to get a massive uh, FPS boost and all this sort of nonsense. So stop believing all that rubbish you see on the internet 
and on YouTube because there's tons of videos claiming all this stuff and it's just a load of nonsense and it's there for clickbait and to make money. At the end of the day, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.